So what's up? This is the Itch. This is podcast episode. Are we officially started? Dude, we've been streaming. I know we've been streaming, but... This is podcast episode 99. 666 and... 35. We're here to rock and praise the devil. Wow, that sounds good. That's what we that fun, but... Cool. Well, well, I'm Spencer. I'm dying. I'm, I'm J- Eric. I'm JD. And I'm Rose. Well, <sighs> welcome to the Itch Podcast number 35. Keep me honest. Yep, 35. Woo. Lie to him. Woo. It's 53. It's, was it Monty Python? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, nobody else gets that. One. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> I haven't seen Monty Python. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it since I was a little kid. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, Monty Python. So, uh, we're here to talk about some gaming news for the week of motherfucking ending on the 36th on the 36th start on the 20th ending on the 26th yeah (laughs) it's like wait what like damn so we got some uh, late march news here. i just learned some new tech (laughs) but before we start (laughs) before we start talking about the news eric Hmm. what games are you playing i've played destiny this week trevor picked up a ps4 the other week so we've been working on getting him caught up to uh Getting him ready for the new patch that's coming out, so that we're all doing, uh, we're all doing relevant content together. I, I am watching. I don't know who's fighting, but <laughs> it's a Karen and a Ryu, and that's important. No, don't do this. <laughs> don't do this, Eric. <laughs> anyway. So I've been playing Destiny. Um, I have started Child of Light actually, <coughs> and I've decided I'm going to be doing a let's play of it every Sunday. I'm going to sit down, put in two hours into it, and see how long it takes to complete. Get some Skybers. Um, other than that, I I played a little bit of Pokemon Yellow this week, um, but <laughs> it's one, it it the nostalgia only takes me so far. I have a really hard time going back and playing old games that have, uh, I mean, they were current mechanics for the time, but nowadays it's it, it's evolved it's so much. It's dated, yeah. Well, nostalgia works wonders for some people. Yes, and and there are some games that. I'm loving it. <laughs> there are there are the some past. games that uh, nostalgia is super. I have a super <laughs> hard on. I was gonna say just that. Say it. Just say but it. But I wasn't gonna mean it like a boner. I was just gonna. I no, have a super hard it. like you have a connection boner. to it. Don't tease me. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna find out that I have some soft spots. Woo! You're gonna find out I have some hard spots. That came out <laughs> wrong. <laughs> or did it? You're just gonna softball it to me. <laughs> uh, no. So the. Uh, yeah, I've been playing Child of Light, Destiny, Pokemon Yellow, and also, um, that's actually it. I, I don't think I've turned anything else on. I've wanted to pick up and play some Street Fighter. I've wanted to play some Division, but every time I pick up my PlayStation, Trevor's like, hey, I'm on, let's play games. Oh. So I, I brought up Child of Light and How Long to Beat, one of my favorite websites mm-hmm. ever. It's saying between 11 and 13 hours. That's fine. So six weeks total. Expect, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Dude, Which honestly, I am finding myself exploring everywhere. Like I'm not just blasting through it. I'm actually finding secrets and like building my characters exactly how I want. And I'm not doing meta. I'm just doing. I, I don't know anything about this game. I had no idea. I just knew it was made by Ubisoft, and that it was an RPG. And, and it's made by the people that did Far Cry, right? Yes, Far Cry and uh, I believe Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. Oh, like you, one of them. You mean like? Not you mean Ubisoft, or you mean like the smaller like the, the studio, studio and yeah. team within it? Oh, yeah, yeah, like okay. The, the people that... Like, <laughs> okay. the I was about to say, made, I was like, uh, duh, dude. Like, the <laughs> guys that made like Far Cry... I think, I think. Pro- Come on, probably man. Raymond. Come on, man. Is that the small studio that made Raymond? Or Come no? on, man. That's is, Michael Ansel. Don't you want to scoot you? No, it's not Raymond. If you don't want it, I mean, it's okay, but I mean, don't you want to scoot you? I would like to pay attention to the show. God damn you. Raymond is made by Michael Ansel, I believe. Mmm. Who also made? It's fine, Eric. Who also made Beyond Good and Evil? God damn oh, okay. you! But not not this one though. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So Eric, Eric's like your parent. That's like, oh, stay away from sweets and shit. Thanks. Stay away from Street Fighter. No. That's that's your candy. No, uh, <laughs> I was playing this morning. I was killing this morning. But, yeah. yeah. So what have you been playing, Justin? I've been playing Street Fighter this morning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, play a lot of Street Fighter. Play a lot of Division. Um, Played a little bit of Bro Force after we had our little run, and I was like, oh. I want to jump in on that with you guys. It's pretty fucking awesome. Is it online co-op? I believe it is. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we can be like brominators and stuff and brobo cops. There's a lot of anger when we And play. the boondock bros. Is there? 
Well, we curse each other out and we say it's your fault or it's your fault. Well, it's usually because it's, it's your always fault. your guys' fault. Because <laughs> it's <laughs> your fault. What's wrong? But um, playing that, um, I'm getting ready to get back into Banner Saga. Uh, and I will be jumping in on that because I want to do the review for number two. Yeah. Uh, and um, has that been it? I could have sworn I played something else. Um, that might be it. But yeah, just a lot of covering a lot of ground on, on Street Fighter. I'm trying to get gold uh, rank on Street Fighter, which is another 500 points, and then I got it. And then I'm gonna be like, All right, I'm gonna fucking stop. 500 points is what like five wins? No, it's probably like eight wins. Okay. Eight. Yeah, well, it depends on who you fight, really. So if I'm matched up against someone like so evenly, five to ten, roughly yeah. point uh, matches, and you could achieve it. Well, yeah, if if they keep matching me up with people that are in my range, but if I I'm a I'm ultra silver, so if I fight someone who's like bronze, ultra silver, yeah. So, so goes, is there bronze and uh, brutal bronze and? <laughs> well, yeah, it goes. So it starts off it's rookie for everybody, and then it goes. Uh, I believe it goes bronze, and then it goes super bronze, then it goes ultra bronze, then it goes silver, super silver, ultra silver, then it goes gold, and so on and so forth, up to platinum. And I think there's like a a grandmaster. One, but no one's, no one's Grandmaster yet. I want to say it's like 10,000 uh, LP or whatever. Uh, I don't know. But uh, <clears throat> right now, I'm at 3563, I think. If I hit 4,000, I get gold. So I'm, Wasn't that the achievement that you wanted to hit? That was the achievement I wanted to hit. Because I, I did want to uh, uh, <clears throat> platinum the game. But also because gold's a good place to be. In terms of just like, hey, you know, it, it puts you like gold. I think if I got into gold right now, it probably put me in top like 2000 worldwide. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I, I'm OK with this. And then mm -hmm. I will, of course, play ranked more, but I'm OK with playing, you know, player matches where points don't matter. Yeah. But or right gold. now you hitting gold, knowing that you're about 2000, you're in the 2000s and then going to Evo this July. Yeah. Puts you in a good spot. If we're looking at ratios here. I should clearly be knocking people out of pools. Just tick, tick, tick. nice. We'll see. What about Rosie? What have you been playing this week? I've been playing. So anyway, let's get started with the. I'm kidding. <laughs> start the show. Let's start the show. Uh, I've been playing quite a bit of Bloodborne, uh, Call of Duty, Black Ops Three. Blops. Blops. Um, picked up Salt and Sanctuary last night. Oh really? Yeah. Did you make your character? Yeah, I just made a character. Just and did you get to the first like? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so then you you'll be fine just loading. Is the paper. game hard? No, I'm, yeah. I'm interested in the game, but if it's gonna be crazy hard like Dark Souls is, I might not. Dark Souls, Dark Souls hard. three it's hard, challenging. Oh yeah, right, because it's so easy. Yeah, let's look at, let's all stay. Huh? <laughs> I, was, I was just trying to challenge you guys, and, and I was like, it's two o'clock in the morning. Why the fuck are you texting me? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell, dude? What? So, Justin, when I text you at 2 in the morning about my private feelings, you just throw them away. <laughs> Listen, I dwell on them. <laughs> I sleep. I wake up the next day feeling refreshed, ready to tackle whatever issues you may have. And then I ignore them because they're not <laughs> worth my time. Well, damn. Don't fill in the blanks there. This is an ad <laughs> um, Anyway, what else? I'm bearing my soul. Uh, I know you haven't been playing Street Fighter. I'm a little disappointed. But guess what? I've been playing instead. Poking Tournament. A true Evo fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm maining Gengar, and they I'm going to take on the world. They don't even play fighting games that much in their life. <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> Not that Pokémon's garbage. Wait, but doesn't Pokémon Turtle at least have a campaign mode? Yeah. Oh, really? Why? Once the Why last is that shots important? Fire. Yeah, once the last time shots that fire. Bring it, son. No, shots fired. He shot the fire. He shot him. Oh, you fucking supported <laughs> it. I shot the fire. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I support Spencer. And his, but you uh, know who aimed the gun? Ragga, ragga, ragga hunt. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Ragga run. Ragga run. Ragga, ragga, ragga hunt. <laughs> Keep it one hunt. So how do you like Pokemon Tournament? It's pretty good. Uh, should we just wait for the review to come out? Uh, okay. We can wait for the <laughs> God review. Goddamn, wait to silence the black <laughs> yeah, <right>. man again. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, well, oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, you All been right. reading again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you these things? Get back in the yeah. yard. <laughs> anywho, anywho, yeah. that's it for me. Yeah. What about Spence? What have you been playing? But never ask, you know. I, I didn't want to. Yeah, no one should <laughs> ask. That's the thing. I've been playing Uncharted. Yeah. Uncharted what? One. One. He beat it. 
So I wanted to play two. I wanted to review it, but they told me no. I should just review all of the Uncharted collection. So that's what I'll do later. I've been playing <laughs> Pokemon Yellow, Yellow, and enjoying it quite a bit. I am not going to get Abra. I'm making that a conscious effort because that will break the game. <laughs> so I will not. I will not be using any psychic Pokemon. It's very easy to get them too. It's like in one of the yeah, like just, first few towns. Yeah, yeah you just got to try to get them before he teleports out. But that breaks the game, so I will not do it because yeah. they did not balance for psychic Pokemon. Is anyone here cool enough to know the song I'm thinking about when he says Abra? Abra Kadabra. Abra Kadabra. I mm. want to reach out and grab you. Yeah. That was my. That was a like very a, white. <laughs> that was a very Caucasian song. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, Continue. covered by Sugar Ray. Continue. I've been playing <laughs> straight out of Compton. <laughs> I played a little League of Legends. I always do. Who you main League of Legends? It depends on the mood I'm in. If I just want to win a game, I'll play Garen because that guy is a joke. And if I want to, if I want to actually like strategize and play well, I'm playing Vladimir. He's, yeah. No, he's a, he's a hemomancer, not to be mistaken with a vampire. So he's a blood. <laughs> so that's actually going back to that comment you made about Garen. Yeah. Garen's a free like he's within like the first two or three champions you get in that game or yeah, five, yeah. whatever yeah, they start like you cheap, with. Cheap level, low level character. Mm-hmm. He is insane. Is that the dude with the shield and the sword? And the yeah, he's like the he, poster. For Damasia. Yeah. Sure. He's he is a joke <laughs> of a champion. It's, it's not fair. He's actually who I learned how to play on and how I teach everyone to play the game on. That's not a bad idea because he is a joke. Yeah. <laughs> and then I switched to Shivana off of him because yeah. she plays similar to him. Yeah, I can see that. There you go. Yeah. Garen literally, if you want to know how cheap Garen is, I mean, there's many reasons he's cheap, but his passive <laughs> is don't fight for 10 seconds and you'll instantly regain a whole bunch of health. What? Yeah. That's broken. <laughs> Oh, it's just—it's horrible. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? Golf is gay. Yeah. So it's so my dad right now. Uh, yeah, he's out playing golf with some friends, <laughs> and they're. I'm just gonna tell you this straight up. No one in my family likes golf. Okay. Like golf is just, like we like football. We like hockey. We like rugby. Uh, what was that? What's that one? Uh, was it cricket? Like yeah, where well, we yeah. knock it through the holes and stuff. Well, okay. they they pitch the ball and they have the paddle. Like oh, British, yeah, British baseball. Yeah, baseball. Don't basically. understand that shit. Yeah, it's confusing. Well, like when I first started to learn it, my dad got really into it because he started doing fantasy cricket. Oh, <laughs> um, I'm not knocking him. I just didn't know that existed. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't know it either. Fantasy cricket. But it's all of those things are more entertaining than golf because all of all golf is is middle aged men taking a walk with sticks. It's true. Wow. Well, wait, what? <laughs> and hitting balls. It's kind of like croquet, right? Yeah. Croquet yeah, is it's where they croquet, but you knowledge. take a longer walk. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More of a jog. <laughs> I'm not even I'm, that. I'm confused they with take golf carts. Uh, What's that? Have you been golfing? Oh, yeah. Oh, I play golf. Okay. Yeah. You you do actively play it? No, not now. <clears throat> okay. It's been years. But I think I that's have. it for the games that I've been playing. I think I want to keep playing XCOM. But I'll, I'll need to find the time to do it. Yeah. Bro, XCOM is so amazing. You I gotta get love it. XCOM. You gotta get into it, man. But I think I'll switch to Banner Saga and try to get through that. Yeah. yeah. Mm, between two, yeah, go with Banner Saga. Just because it's a quicker game. Okay. But before I go too far off subject, any of you golfer guys, uh, tune into our show. We totally support you guys subscribing and liking and, our stuff and, and sharing. And golfing. Yeah. And, yeah uh, I love what is swing. it? PGA Tour 2016? Yeah. That was a game. Right? No, Tiger Woods Golf. Tiger Woods MLB, Golf. Yeah, <laughs> what do they call it? Like MLB The Show? Or no. That's the baseball. MLB well, The <laughs> Show. Fucking go. <laughs> MLB <God>. The Golf. <laughs> the Swing. Major League Baseball The Golf. Yeah. <laughs> Major League Ball hitting Yeah, it's where Tiger Woods thing. plays baseball. Yeah. <laughs> when he slammed the dunk. Yeah. <laughs> we'll forget that. Hit ever three, happened. Tiger, three Woods, pointers. Tiger Woods was up to plate. Yeah. Up, to, up to bat. And he scored a touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> that sports to me. Oh my god! Blur. And then they were Blur. all. Sides. It was a hat trick. <laughs> wow. Should we get started with some news? Yeah. <laughs> Let's. Yeah. All right. Do we have a cue for the news? Q News. Q News. Okay. <laughs> Breaking news. Fuck it, we'll do it live. This just in: JD is killing it at Street Fighter. <laughs> or rather, everything is going as planned. That's all. <laughs> Everything is going according to plan, Commander. 
<laughs> is that some XCOM? Yeah, that oh, was really good. You guys can with your better computers and shit. Pokemon Go. <laughs> Pokemon Go. Pokemon. Pokemon Leave. Leave. No, Pokemon Go. He's here to stay, <laughs> JD. That's Pokemon Leave Green. That's JD, you're up. not into this. Pokemon Go. Yeah. Not right now. I don't, dude. I don't want to be in my fucking bedroom. Turn this bitch on, and I have a Gengar just kind of sitting there in my corner. Fuck that. No. Wouldn't that be interesting to like your house is like haunted and like all you get in your house is ghastlies and Gengars no, and so here's haunters. the thing that's freaking me out. What if let's say there's a legendary Pokemon in your household and it's just some creepy dudes coming by? Like, <laughs> hey, hey, what, what are you doing here? Oh, like, knocking on. Hey, fam, uh, I need to, co- I need <laughs> well, to collect this Pokemon. It, it's proximity you know? based. It's, I know. It's, you saw the Lagashoot. Yeah. Let, me, let me get at that Moltres. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. <laughs> the the one thing I am curious about is that uh, will the the gyro in the in your phone. Uh, inform the app that you were driving. So if you're passing like 20 different Pokemon, are you? Is it going to be like, hey, Pokemon, 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 yeah, Pokemon? There's Pokemon. probably, a, there's probably a, like a speed limit if they're like, oh, he's traveling yeah. too fast. To well, there's shit. things like when I pull up Snapchat, like rapid ass chase, and it's like, hey, you're driving, <laughs> don't Snapchat. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, like it'll come up and it'll have a Honda symbol on it, which I freaked out at first, but it's it's a paid advertisement by Honda. Uh, I, I drive a Honda Civic, so when I saw the Honda wow, logo, wagon. I'm like. Snapchat knows what I drive, and they know that I'm driving right now. Oh, big mm. brother. <laughs> yeah. But, it, I mean, if apps like that can do it, I presume Pokemon Go will go do the same thing as well. But if you don't know what Pokemon Go is, Pokemon Go is a free phone app that you're going to be able to get that will have uh, paid transactions, microtransactions for items and things like that, though, most likely. Like a bike. <laughs> it, <laughs> it'll be like uh, potions and, and uh, experience boosts and probably evolution stones and stuff. It'll be by the win. Yeah, it'll be. Yeah. So the, the point of the game, though, you're going to be on your phone walking around. And as you walk around in real life, you get it's a pedom- pedometer. You're putting in steps and you're going and traveling GPS. And it's like geocaching to where it's like, oh, hey, there's a, a, a Pidgey over here that I want to go catch. And you walk over, get to the proximity, and then it activates. You get the battle and you can choose to capture whatever. If you capture the Pidgey, you capture multiple Pidgeys. It evolves to Pidgeotto, so on and so forth. Now, the really, really cool thing about this that I'm enjoying is the fact that certain Pokemon will only be found in certain landscapes. Yeah, right. so it says like a water so Japan Pokemon screwed. will be found in a <laughs> body no of desert. water. Yeah, well, that makes sense. And a grass Pokemon will be found in a big grassland. What's grass? So we're going to have number like sand shoes and sand like, slash. So a myth. Oh, God, you, you that's our, our box and uh, like snakes. Which is Cobra like, backwards. You have to assume Snoop Dogg <laughs> yeah. is going to be flushed with that Venusaur. <laughs> wow, you're stupid. Wow. You're an right. idiot. Can we, can we and do? fire Pokemon you can find in a volcano. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, or Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually curious about that. Is like, is uh, Magmar going to be like in Hawaii? Oh, yeah. because Probably. Of or like, so we're gonna all going to have to take a vacation to Hawaii to when, go get Magmar. Like Pokemons you can find in Kansas. I- <laughs> <laughs> Toto's there. <laughs> Just go but that I'm curious if they're going to expand it to the the full 700 Pokemon that are out right now. Oh, they fucking better man. not. Or if they're just going to do the 150 original. Let's just start with the original. Start. Man. Start. I don't think they will. I think they'll pick and choose. Oh, okay. That uh, across sense. the whole thing, because when I was at Toys R Us this week, I was looking at the different toys that they had for Pokemon. I could not find a Charmander, Bulbasaur, or Squirtle pack, but I could find every other starting Pokemon out there. Uh, get yourself a Torchic or whatever. Yeah, it was Tor- uh, it was Torchic and then the water one, uh, the to- the toad one with the lily pad on Totodile? its back. I think it was something like that. Is that it? No, that's not uh, uh, Mudkip? No. <sighs> Mudkip is a starter, isn't he? Yeah. He's a, he's a water slash mud Pokemon. Yeah, but he Brown. doesn't he have like the... Whatever. Anyway, so I couldn't find like the original Pokemon toys. I found like Probably Pikachu, found P- obviously. Yeah, of course. But so how, Pokemon, how could you not? Pokemon eggs, which can be found at Poke Stops. Whoa. Will hatch after players walk a certain distance. The pedometer. Players will be able to impress their friends. Uh, see, right. see. By unlocking <laughs> achievement medals that are earned by completing a variety of challenges. A variety. So, so the other part that I am interested in is the gyms. Mm-hmm. Setting up your Pokemon gym with your friends, to where each of you drop off a certain Pokemon at a designated location. So, say if we say the Itch Network's gym is here. So as, no one comes here though, right? So like I was thinking about setting up at work, 
Yeah. Like setting that as my uh, right. the Pokemon gym to where everyone comes to work and they see that there's a bunch of different uh, gyms there that they can then battle and try and win against. I thought that would be fun because then every time I go to work, I have a bunch of people I can beat the crap out of. Well, you ain't gonna, digitally, digitally beat the crap out of. You ain't going to beat me. I'll be the gym leader. <laughs> I'm going to be Brock. I'm going to be up here like this. Be yeah, you, would be, you would be the Brock of the gym leaders, though. <laughs> yeah. Just getting mm. beat down for us. Losing to, Losing to a lightning Pokemon. Losing to a lightning Pokemon. With rock. <laughs> <laughs> like with my onyx. Yeah. Ah, the sprinklers. <laughs> <laughs> this will change the whole dynamic. <laughs> ah. No, I'll be that guy. I'll be the, the gym leader that just gives out the gym badges because, like, you, you showed a lot of heart. <laughs> oh. Uh, like, that was Ash, like Sabrina, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Ash got, like, three different gym badges by just being a good guy. Yeah, like, yeah I, I like, can't imagine you doing that, though. It'd be like... No, it'd you know be what? like you're be an like, asshole. Here you go. Like, you went to the subway for me or something. Oh, like, here's your badge. Here. You want that badge? You gotta earn it. Oh, you want to play me in a battle? <laughs> you're like on your knees. I ain't ready for that. Pick up right. those reports. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's interesting. Uh, like po- they can be found at real locations in the world. Only one Pokemon per player can be placed at a given gym. Team members will need to work together to build a strong defense. A gym claimed by one team can be challenged by the other two teams. Oh, it's just Daniel in the chat says, let's face it, Spencer, you can only be on Team Rocket. <gasps> Dude, and I'll sing the song every single time. <laughs> I'll read the poem. Are you going to play both parts then? Yeah. You're going to bring a wig? Jesse. And bring someone's cat? James. <laughs> <laughs> Team Rocket, blast, blast off, off at the, the sp- speed of light. Right. Surrender can, now or prepare to fight. fight. I can't be meow. a part. That's, that's right. I can't be a part. Oh, you can be Meowth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can be Meowth. But It'll, what about his feminine figure? Yeah, I've got curves. Curves on curves. <laughs> like, like a one. Uh, it's like also <laughs> going to have a device called the Pokemon Go Plus. It's a little oh, the Bluetooth thing. Thingy, yeah. So Let's that go. looks like crap. Yeah, I'm just going to say it looks total crap. It's a wristband like the Fitbits and any kind of pedometer you put around your wrist. But then it has a Pokemon symbol, but it has like a, you know when you go into like GPS and it has that pin? Of like you are here. Yeah. It's that on your wrist, but it, the top part of it looks like a Pokeball. And it's just yeah, like... there's an image. <laughs> oh, you can see it from there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it's it looks oh, man. horrible. It looks like a tool you can bludgeon someone yeah, with. Yeah, so it would be cool to have a thing at work. I will not wear that at work, though. Because I, I will, would, I I would get a wear it to see who I get like talking to me. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, Eric, what's that on your wrist? Is that a, a Pokemon Go? It's like a Pokemon thing? <laughs> Yeah, I got another one. Yeah. Oh my god! How much? Yeah. <laughs> what? The? I think I'm pretty. I got another one. Confident. Yeah. <laughs> pretty confident the girls will be impressed <laughs> by the. Uh, Just gonna end that statement. I have two of them. There's a second. Find the other. <laughs> There's a second. A lot of girls using water gun. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh my god! I've told you guys that story before. The chick, the Squirtle. <laughs> Interesting yeah, yeah story. that's not sanitary. <laughs> I think we know yeah. that. Yeah, that is. Uh, def- she ruined that Pokemon for me. <laughs> I'm still trying to get over it, but I just can't. Every time I'm Squirtle playing, Squad. Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah, putting out fires everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Next story. Which, oh, already got. <sighs> she was a she was a redhead too. Next story. Here we go. Next <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Pokemon, or sorry, I've still got Pokemon on the brain. PlayStation 4.5 is real. Yep. Says report. Bullshit. <laughs> so PlayStation so, 4.5 is kind of like the new 3DS of the PlayStation world. Yeah. You have a PS4, most of you, everybody. I everybody's just, got it. Everybody's I just bought it. a PS4. <laughs> Some people just bought it. Well, guess what? There's a newer, Screw better, you. <laughs> more right. beautiful version. It's supposed to be coming out this holiday season, right? Yep. Yeah, for four hundred bucks. That's uh, it's a rumor. They're not positive on pricing, but that's what they're aiming for. It's four hundred bucks. I don't think they can do more than four hundred dollars. Five fifty. <laughs> no, I don't think they can. Five hundred ninety-nine dollars. I, I, I think they've realized now that that consoles cannot go Eric, for more. I'm than, joking. Oh, I'm trying to have a conversation about what you're joking about. <laughs> the the I think the gaming industry has realized now with the PS3. And also with the Xbox One releases, that you cannot sell a console for more than four hundred dollars. The consumer will not spend more than four hundred dollars. I did. 
Well, right. It was but, a mistake. <laughs> yeah. So they've been price cutting. I mean, they're supposed they're they just dropped the Xbox One to three hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Um. So now it's the cheap. It's as cheap as a Nintendo Wii U. You can pick up one Fire or the other. Shit. So, I but I think they've realized Xbox One realized now that the mistake that PS3 made was gouging that price up really high, and then Xbox One did the same thing. And who last year? Or last generation, PS3 was drag or was behind on sales. Xbox One, granted, there was a lot of other things that played into it. Yeah, I but the price point, I think, is one of the biggest reasons why people were like, "Well, I can get into next gen console gaming if I do four hundred dollars, or I can stick with Xbox and pay an extra hundred and fifty. I don't even want the Connect. Uh, I'll just go. P- I'll get all my friends to buy PS4 now because it's cheaper. But I'm getting next gen gaming. Yeah." So I don't think that for the PS four point five that they would be that they would be willing to do that. Why like basically defending why you're saying it's four hundred dollars. Five hundred and ninety nine dollars. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately it's weird because it's also being referred to as PlayStation four K because it has an extra gr- G- an upgraded GPU. Mm. Maybe to take advantage of more cores, I'm not maybe it goes into more detail about yeah, how that works. It does. But uh, it does say on this report that Cute, of course. it's very likely that the PlayStation 4 still won't be able to do 4K, at least in a like do it like do it justice, like do it correctly. Well, they advertised the the crap out, out of, of that. it, yeah. But that, that was it, the whole point. Well, so 4K, it's technically 4K resolution, like it's it's expanded, but it's upscaled yeah. 4K resolution. It's, it's not, not true uh, native. Yes, that's the word. I want native. 4K resolution. <laughs> There's no way that you're going to get that for four hundred dollars. It takes like thousand dollar graphic cards. Then why did they yeah. say it? Because it's going to make you want to buy it. Why did they say it? The same why reason did they that. Lie to me? The same reason. Shut up! Let me tell you. I'm not even talking. <laughs> Am I talking? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the monitoring monitor system's not I, working. I think yeah. I told. I think I told both of you guys the story, and probably half the stream knows it. But I went up to Best Buy right with with Matt. This was a while ago. And back when Killzone was still interesting. And they, they were playing Killzone, the PS4. Right. And they had a 4K oh, yeah. TV. And the girl is like, hey, hey guys, you want to try 4K? You know, like <laughs> yeah. super into her job. For those of you who didn't understand that, do you want to try our 4K? <laughs> yeah. What was the statement <laughs> she's, made? She's like, oh, it looks beautiful, right? And I'm like, but it's not 4K. She's like, yeah, it is. I'm like, I'm sure it's a 4K TV, but. Yeah, it's, uh, it's PlayStation like, Four, like what, Batman, Arkham City, or something. No, it's Killzone. Oh, it's Killzone. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like you cannot produce a 4K uh, uh, resolution uh, yet. I mean, yeah, sure, it's upscaled. But that's not really 4K. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, it's just a bigger screen. You, you don't have l- more pixels on the screen. It's just a bigger screen altogether. And she's, I don't know. She's that's crazy. why, like, a lot of 1080 1080p devices when they were first coming out, like when 1080p was all the rage. Most of them were 720p upscaled to 1080p with 30 FPS. A lot of them were. And that's just the way that they can get away with it because they meet the minimum specifications to call themselves 4K. Mm. Yeah. I guess that's fair. Yeah. So, and and the, to the point that Spencer was talking about how the, uh, it, yes, it has an enhanced graphics card. Yes, it's going to be more powerful. Yes, it's going to be a better system. It's probably also going to have a better hard drive in it. I can't imagine that they will stick with a 500 gig hard drive. Hopefully, it's a hybrid or even a SSD at 900 gigabytes. Whatever, I would love. Just SSD. make it. A, yeah. I love how you said 900 because their freaking software will always take up like so much <laughs> of it already. Yeah, yeah. Their operating system brutal. Um, um, but going to the point of the hardware, uh, the graphics card on it, it's gonna upscale. It's gonna make it better. It's going to be stronger, but. One of the concerns that I want to talk to you guys about is the split that it's going to have on developers. Mm-hmm. So are you going to be... And the, uh, this is just a funny term. And before we get into this, I actually want to talk about what oh, it's just Daniel said in the chat. Uh, he says, let's say it comes out for $400 on yeah. Xmas. Cool. Who of Xmas you guys will buy Christmas. it day one? Um, yeah, I'd probably buy it. I don't think I will. If, if, if I just bought the regular PS4. If it's worth it, if it's because I've had mine for what two years at this point, mm-hmm. uh, something like that, right? I've yeah, had, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So I've had mine for two years. I have a lot of stuff on it that I can easily transfer to a mm-hmm. hard drive. And then, you know, the rest of my stuff is just 
you know, expendable at that point. So I'm, I, I would get it if, if the, uh, the difference was clear. Or because um, where we sort of got the information from, they talked about it might, uh, the PlayStation 4.5 might be unveiled with a game. Mm. With okay. an IP that is uh, Exclusive a first to party it. IP. So that could be Exclusive. God of War, that could be Infamous, that could be, hell, it could be Crash Bandicoot. And it's Bandicoot, exclusive it just in the PlayStation 4.5? Well, uh, it's based on, it's built for the specs. Yeah, of it's the built for the specs of it. So I guess my input on this would be that I don't, if, if the biggest bonus to the PS4.5 or whatever is graphics, that is not a selling point for me because I don't play console games for the graphics. Well, it's, if it, I wanted, if it runs it, smoothly, yeah, it's w- performance ultimately. If I was obsessed with that kind of stuff, I just play it on my PC. I play these. I play the consoles so I can play with you guys. Did so you share, share my moments with so you? So then, let me play devil's advocate here. When the new 3DS XL came out, did you go out and buy it? Yeah, so I could do an unboxing. <laughs> he did it. So for views. would you have bought it otherwise? Um, I would have waited for Xenoblade Chronicles to come out. Okay, that, so that because like of another, an exclusive game. Yeah. So maybe if, if it's specifically exclusive to that and you cannot play it on the other one, yes. I might. And it depends on the game. Yeah. Xenoblade Chronicles was an RPG I really wanted to play. If it's, if it's like God of War or Infamous, that's even more nails in the coffin. Of course, I'm going to get it. Mm-hmm. Because, hey, man, I miss Kratos. I miss Bay. <laughs> so, what? Sorry, you don't it's, miss Bay. <laughs> I don't miss Kratos. He already Kratos has, don't miss you either. It, his story's done. No, it where, where can they go? <laughs> He's going to Atlantis, man. Wow, or, the or, son of the why? God of War. Well, <laughs> the 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 thing that they talked about, and this is Rough. totally off topic, but the thing they talked about is maybe hitting other gods. So we hit a bunch of Greek gods, maybe like Norse mythology, which would be pretty hot, man. Like. Ripping up Thor. I mean, that wouldn't go well in Marvel Universe, but still, you know. But like, why? Oh, like, I would be scared that they would go Egyptian. Oh, I would be just scared. Just a bunch of, of black dudes. <laughs> Here's my what? Egyptian god card. <laughs> <laughs> I was it? Exodus. Uh, no, no, this is Exodus. Wing Dragon of Ra. Wing Dragon. Slifer the Sky Dragon. <coughs> And Obelisk the Tormentor. Yep. You plebe. Well, there's Exodia is still I'm Egyptian. I'm a filthy casual. <laughs> um, <laughs> Guess when there's other ones. No, there's a lot of like deities that are based. They're like human like. Mm-hmm. So I could see like that's why I said a bunch of black people <laughs> because ultimately, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of black people. So it's Egyptian. Grand of, it's Grand Theft Auto uh, San Andreas. Okay, that's exactly. What it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey CJ, <Yeah. laughs> so you summon <laughs> raw yet? <laughs> With uh, PlayStation 4.5 though, um, we were going to talk about the developer split. Okay. So what is it going to do to the third party developers? Are they going to continue creating content that is capable of being upscaled? Because at this point, they're going with the new AMD graphics card. It's a. I, I, I might have zoned out then. <laughs> it's a little bit of a. I, if I remember right, the architecture on it, it's a little bit different so that they can't just. It's not a straight up upscale. Exactly port it. Yeah, it's not just a straight up like, oh, yeah, it'll work on both. It's It has to be worked a little bit so they have to put effort into making it available on both the 4 and 4.5 and i really hope they don't call it 4.5 i hope it's just what the masters are calling it right now what playstation 4k that would be fine i but would it's also but that's that, a lie kind of a lie it's sort of a lie just because it's not native that's my only gripe is because yeah. it's, yeah, not, I'm, it's I'm okay, okay not like native. i get that but it's also sound it just sounds better you, than playstation 4.5 4, 4 pro or work. something like that 4 pro or if they call it yeah don't call it elite <laughs> i was gonna say elite uh <laughs> they should um, call it the playstation 4 xbox one <laughs> <laughs> is this the one that's Microsoft's gonna have cross play yeah <laughs> um, playstation 4 cross play but, <laughs> but developing on, on with a new ps4 <laughs> developing with different um hardware Excel. Isn't re- isn't really uh, like new? Like obviously with PC, it's very common. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it would make uh, development a little bit lo- longer. But like the only people that would really suffer is third party because first party it's not too much longer. Third party, if I'm porting to PC or if I'm putting it not porting, if I'm putting it on PC, if I'm putting it on Xbox and I'm putting it on both PlayStation types, yeah, that is a little bit extra work. Because then it's a lot of different stuff, a lot of moving parts. And the more variables and moving parts you have going into something like that, it's easier to get mix, uh, mixed up. So we could very well have an Arkham City 
on our hands. Uh, which is silly because it doesn't seem like it'd be even be that bad, but <coughs> you can't rule it. I wouldn't rule it out just because fucking technology, man. Every day or every week when we come in and we have something wrong with the computer or whatever, I'm just like, but we didn't even fucking touch it. <laughs> but it decided to just be a dick, you know? <laughs> so it's I could easily see that happening. Like updates and all that stuff, if 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 the architecture or whatever the case is is being uh is completely different for the PlayStation, we'll just call it 4K, and the PlayStation 4, then um, updates and all that stuff have to be catered to and to, you know, like to, to accommodate that, right? That would make sense. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I could see development being sort of lame and ongoing development especially, but... Well, I can tell you that with the PlayStation, or the, with the new 3DS, it definitely has... <laughs> It, it started slow, but it's creating more of a divide as time goes on. We have now a couple games that specialize in the new 3DS, and then we have the new the P- SNES games that are only playable the virtual on the, console on the three, new 3DS. Uh-huh. So it is starting to make its thing. But if they follow Nintendo's path, it, it's slow and not fully required. But it is it's like. A little bit of benefit, so you they're, know. Still, they're being nice. If but the, they're pushing so, out the house, <laughs> right? So the the game that I would say is them being nice on is the uh, Smash Brothers. You could play Smash Brothers on both, but this one had the C stick, had the mm. Smash stick, or the original GameCube controller. Right, we're we're saying on the on the on 3DS the, on yeah. the handheld version. Oh, you on both it. of them. Yeah, you could play oh, it on the old mind. one, but. If you played on the new 3DS, I have yes. that Smash stick. You can walk with the C stick. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, if on the the regular 3DS or 3DS XL, it didn't have the C stick. Oh. So then, but they still let you play it. You just had to use different controls. Get so th- that's them man. being nice to where, like, if they come out with Infamous or God of War, and they say, nope, if you want to play this big first party IP, you have to buy a PS Pro, 4 Pro. I'm gonna call it that. 4K. <laughs> uh, that's, 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 um, now that makes me sad. The First, PlayStation VR. Do you think that this has anything to? That's do what with I actually it? want to bring up. It's like, is it going to be more compatible with this rather than? Can I you, thought they weren't touching. Uh, well, they it's, will it's, have. They will cross at some oh, point. Okay. But, but their intent, like when the PS, the PS VR, the bundle is a standalone console that runs and powers it, and then it also has the headset and everything. So it's a whole nother setup. Now, the integration into the PS4, they're supposed to be allowing you to play games from your PS4, and it goes straight into all of this. What are you doing that? Sitting on my defenses. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> um, so I'm curious to see how they, if they're doing this for that in addition to. And also... I mean, Xbox has done the hardware enhancements plenty of times before. I don't know if they've done, like graphics cards and stuff before but they've definitely released the pro elite and just the the basic what do they call that <clears throat> uh, anyways uh, the red ringed guy <laughs> the, yeah the red wing so one. you're talking about the difference between the white one and the sort of like slimmer or the yeah. sleek the, yeah one. i forgot what it was called i think it was elite xbox elite uh, the elite, elite one was the best slimmer, one it had the xbox wi-fi built in and the wi-fi built in the bigger hard drive um, but i don't know if it worked differently yeah, but I don't know if the actual CPU or graphics card were upgraded. No. I don't, they were yeah, not. I don't think no. they would no, be. No, no, no. I mean, it's still technically nope. hardware because you do have built-in Wi-Fi, for instance. And you do have a different CD uh, drive and probably a more expensive one as opposed to the shitty one they had for the normal Xbox 360. But um, talk shit. outside of that, it, no, it was shit. You turn that thing sideways and my disc is gone forever. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? No, what if it's it one hammer dropped? strike away. <laughs> yeah, dude, that thing was on death's bed the first time it ever happened to me. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Gears is over with. <laughs> mad. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I will say that the 360, the uh, Red Ring version, it was the first time I had ever actually broken a system on purpose. Like, I, I office spaced that thing. Damn. I was so angry with that console. My brother had it, but he just wrapped his his Xbox up in a towel and then fixed it. Fucking nuts. What? I'm dead serious. Yeah, there's some weird things with that, like really remedy s things that yeah. fix the Xbox. Yeah, home 16. remedy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's weird, but it fixed If it. you put toothpaste on your scratched disc, 
Hey, if you blow on I the cartridge. That. Hey, I work. put I put my Xbox 360 upside down the first broken one. It worked like a charm. So weird. Did you guys ever have the PlayStation 1 where you had to put it on its side because the the laser the motor that on it stopped working. Yeah, that's what I was doing it for. So it would get to the, t- it would go all the way out, and then you hear click, 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 click. Yeah. and then you, if you lifted it a little bit, it would slide back down, and then continue reading the disc, and it, then it would get stuck at the edge. If you actually just stood it up on its side, it would go, and it worked perfectly. It would, it would, it was no problem. Faster loading, blast core processing, gravity powered processing, the future. We're using the power of the earth. All right, next up. Heart. All right. Uh, fire. Earlier this week, I think, it was earlier this week, there was a big rumor that came out, not released by Nintendo, that they were canceling production of the Wii U's at the end of the year. And also 3DS. And the really? and 3DS. Supposedly to coincide with the NX coming out. What? It's the end all be all. That was proven Probably false. Well. Nintendo denied all that and said that's not the plan at all. So, motherfuckers, motherfuckers. <laughs> they put that in at the end. Who's like what? they're getting a little feisty lately? <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. We'll accept it because they're still family it friendly was, fun. Right. Yeah, it was the statement was um, on Twitter post from like Z Huge EX and stuff like that, acquired by Japanese site IT Media. Z Huge EX. I cannot do that. Actually. Maybe I have no idea. Hey, what's up, D Doctor Duck? But apparently the yeah apparently hey doctor, the doctor's in the so, doctor yeah so they they were talking about doctor, having it all be doctor. canceled because the NX was coming out and assumedly I mean we we don't know this for sure I don't believe but the NX is supposed to rumored to be backwards compatible so it can play all these games yada 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 wait for E three wait for E three or wait for whenever Nintendo wants to do a treehouse <laughs> show <laughs> show from their treehouse um, but. Obviously, it was proven false by Nintendo. They said that they're not going to. They intend to keep releasing Wii U stuff like that for over a year after. Which makes sense. Yeah, I mean, why would it just Which, kill um, it right away? Yeah, you yeah, need you know, you know what company used to do that? What? Sega. Hmm. <laughs> what? Oh. Look where they got them now. Yeah. <laughs> Back Shenmue's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> On the way. We got that Shenmue. <laughs> yeah. We got that Sonic, too. Sonic's coming <laughs> yeah, someday. Sonic. Sonic is really in its heyday right now. Oh man! Oh uh, yeah! God, I don't like. <laughs> All they needed I got was that scarf. So <laughs> angry with them, but they were like, "Oh, 25 year anniversary! We're releasing Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice." <laughs> what? I, I didn't hear about that. What? Where's Sonic Advance Four? Yeah, the first one was ri- something about the lyric. <laughs> yeah, Rise, Rise of the, the Lyric. lyric. That's, Rise the of the lyric. That's the first one. Yeah, and then Fire and Ice. I mean, I think it's because they're like, "Hey, people will catch on to the Cartoon Network show." <laughs> right, apparently that's so, doing all right. Is it? Yeah. The yeah. So the the Sega was like, oh yeah. So uh, twenty five anniversary. We really want to. You know what? We're going to turn our company around this year. We we hear the fans saying they're disappointed in us. It makes us feel bad. We're going to put some real effort and <laughs> bring cried, Sonic right. back. Here's Fire and Ice. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I would what? I would have much rather they've been like like Sonic Greatest Hits, right? And mm-hmm. been like, all right, hey, we've got how many times do you think they released that? No, no, no. Hear me, again. Out. Hear, hear me out. Like <laughs> I don't they care. do they do like maybe a Sonic one through three, and that's a collection, right? Like fifteen bucks or whatever. With bucks. knuckles. Yeah, with knuckles. Uh and then they go, All right, hey, now we have these and this one's like Sonic three D blast, which wasn't all that good. Uh the Sega Saturn version, not the Sega version. Uh or not the Genesis version. And then like some other games, whatever. And then they're like, All right, here's the Sonic Advance collection, which might run into some issues considering Sonic Advance was a GBA game, but it was amazing. Um you know stuff like that. Like I would, I would, ha- I would rather them section off some of their properties and being like, all right, we're these are the collections, so you can choose and be like, I don't want every Sonic game because not all of them were good. But yeah, I'll take the first three. Are you kidding me? Yeah. It, so we've talked about this before, and I don't want to go too much into this because we know what Sega needs to like. We know that they have been screwing up like really, royally bad with a huge like recognizable character. I didn't mean to. Um, I don't know why you. Keep going. So they, we we've talked about the Unreal Engine that we saw, that we saw of uh, Sonic Adventure Two. Right. That that game right there. Yes, there's a lot of things that were wrong with that game, but that's what you build off of it and you improve it. Yeah, keep that going. Yeah, because that game has such a huge following and fan base to where that's where current platforming is at. 
we're not at that point of the side scrolling anymore. We need 3D worlds to go into. And Sonic Adventure did a fantastic job of putting you on rails, but making you go fast, giving the opportunity to go fast because it's a linear like pathway. If there's one thing I always hear about Sonic from people today, it's that they want they love Sonic Adventure too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I don't hear about even the originals that much, but I hear Sonic Adventure Two is like their jam. Well, you're yeah, talking about drugs it's, if they're talking about the originals. What you talking about man? What did you just say? <laughs> you want drugs, bro? You saying you don't like one through three? No, I said I don't if like you one don't, through three. You're on fucking drugs. If if you don't, here's the thing. You have to talk about. Sure, you can talk about Sonic Adventure Two, right? It's mm-hmm. fun. I had, I had a blasty blast. It's fun. But you cannot deny the first three. No. One was... Eh. Yeah, one is super hard to go back to. Two was actually difficult. I, <laughs> I enjoyed two. I beat that in like... I beat it in one day. I sat down and was like, I'll play a couple levels. I got so into it, beat it in like four and a half hours. Eric just mm. big-dicked you. I hope you know that. Really? Because yeah. I'm pretty sure I got all of the Chaos Emeralds on Sonic and Knuckles 3. I'm talking going into the 3D realm. That zone. one I find harder. <laughs> Yeah. That one I think is a lot more harder because it, it it like Sonic Two is very basic in its concepts. It's where it's jump and get hit and like you get hit, you lose rings. Okay, you jump, you have a shield, you're okay. In Sonic uh, Three, you have if I have a fire shield, I'm immune to fire now. If I have a lightning shield, I can then bounce around. I have like you. Oh, and you can there's shoot all the, the variables and yeah, the oh, spikes yeah. out and stuff. There's the a lot more jump. variables in Sonic Three. That's why I found it a lot harder. I'm oh, a simple man. Well, so oh, it's just Daniel says I think he thinks the only way to fix broken franchises like Sonic or Resident Evil is by making crossovers. That's why Sonic's at the Olympics this year. <laughs> oh, <that's> a, <laughs> no. No, crossovers don't work. Yeah. Because if that were the case, then Resident Evil would be fixed because Resident they were Evil, in Marvel. And Resident Evil wasn't a crossover. Or in Project oh, Cross. Project X Zone 2. Yeah. And it sucked. <laughs> Relax. So going Check back out for here. That review. <laughs> Going back here to uh, the NX, uh, did you guys see the the rumored controller? Looks good. Oh, uh, it was fun. it was it was proven false anyway. Right, it yeah. was proven false. That's why I air quoted that. rumor. Yeah, it is debunked. Oh. But did you see, like how quickly people jumped on that and started coming up with designs and like, hey, this is true. This is what it is. I actually thought that was a really great. Like, it, it would be impossible to actually implement that and sell that to people. Just because of the the screen with people's different size hands and stuff, you're covering up your hearts or whatever for the Zelda. Did you guys see the image of the Zelda overlay? No. So the Zelda overlay, you had the two controls, the two thumbsticks, but then your hearts were around your thumb on the left side. So if you're moving to the right, you don't see your hearts anymore, and you're like blind, like you're Vibrant. the entire screen was uh, the entire faceplate was a screen, right? But you're covering it with your hands as you're playing it. So it's like you have to like. Roll your thumbs away from the device to fully see the screen and pinch it into your into your the middle of your palm, and then to hold it, and then you're like, okay, I'm gonna run this way. You gotta regrip and run around, but there's no bumpers. It's just all like, the, it was a very interesting, uh, what was it, sleek design that is not functional. Yeah, yeah. I, I honestly thought it was terrible. And I was like, I hope this isn't Nintendo shit. Because, you know, Nintendo has a habit of going like, Doing crazy we're going things. fucking crazy with our yeah. controllers, you know. We're going to have the next thing. Um, we're going to have 17 buttons on this. A, a big <laughs> problem with, like, Sega and with the SNES, uh, controller-wise, was there wasn't a back support. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, as a kid, it didn't matter because, hey, you know, who cares? You put it on the floor and you just... Yeah, you could do that, too. But, like, now, if you look at any controller nowadays, you do have something to grip on because that's how a lot of people play. That's how we're used to playing. Mm-hmm. And sort of devi- deviating from that, like, even the the Wii U, freaking what's called, has that. Yeah, and, the curves on the back. Yeah, the to curve on the back it. for your hands. Which is, I've actually been having problems with uh, the 3DS and the 2DS XL. It's just a flat back. Like, I've been having problems with that. Yeah. Time and, to upgrade. <laughs> the 3DS has that issue with me as well. Oh, you mean just the flat, like not not curved? Like, yeah, like, like it's that, not uh, for my hand. Like I've actually seen like Nerf. Do, have you guys seen Nerf? They've made actual like uh, cases for this stuff. Why are you quoting them? I know of Nerf. They're a real company. <laughs> Apparently, a company That's, called <laughs> Nerf. You're like, Nerf. Uh, Nerf is I'm making like, a what's, what's wrong? Uh, <laughs> case case <laughs> for the <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> 3DS. <laughs> Oh, I don't I'm know. Eric. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Spencer. <laughs> this is the itch. <laughs> Your boy. <laughs> the kid. 
So, okay. Penis anyway. is large. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need air quotes for that one. Anyway, keep going. So they have the 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 Nerf. Uh, basically, it's like a carrying case. It's like a, a otter box for your phone. Mm-hmm. But it actually it builds in the curves. Like there's like a styrofoam um, like Nerf football kind of thing with a rubber outside that allows you to grip and also use the trigger still. They expanded the triggers. So the trigger curves out. So the button's here, but the trigger goes all the way out this way. So then you pull down here, and it still clicks in the button. So it works more like a controller. Do you oh have that God. or something? My brother does. You oh. know what, though? I have the same problem, even with the PS4 control, because it's so small. And I'm used to the Xbox One's bigger controllers, like for men. And the PS4's controller. You still bought a PS4. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a PS4 because you satis- You've been satisfying a lot the little- of PS4. Yeah. He was satisfying the little girl inside him. Oh. I think that's what he's saying. Wow. Clearly. So I was grabbing the PS4, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm still having a problem where I'm like touching my own fingers because like I don't like touching me. <laughs> yeah, well, because like I'm, p- I'm pressing buttons, it's like, uh, and it's like, uh, I'm touching my own fingers. You know, it's still <laughs> awkward. Who is that stranger? <laughs> yeah. Stranger, you monster! <laughs> Stop! Don't touch me there. <laughs> this is my nono square. Yeah. Oh God! <laughs> continue. <laughs> Please um, continue. Regardless, yeah, a lot of that stuff, if it's like flat like that, can really mess with your hands on like extended play and being a being a uh, like a developer of a console you don't want to ever i mean sure right like with the wii u and the wii they're like hey it's been a couple hours don't you want to take a break you know or no. like, go do something you know um you never want to I'm playing Zeno fatigue play. your player yeah you don't want to forcibly limit them mm-hmm. no matter what even if you get, put up a message like that at the end of the day you are saying hey player player shit <laughs> for as long as you want yeah and and by having a controller that's that jacked up Oh yeah, there's there's no way. I've actually so what I what I'm curious about, what I'm interested about that thing is that does it actually exist? Is there somewhere I can buy that as a Bluetooth controller for my phone so that I can play emulated games? Like that's more making a lot of assumptions though that it's Bluetooth (laughs) that you can buy it and and that it actually exists and it works for your phone. (laughs) Yeah, all that stuff. There's yeah, there's a lot, but I'm curious. I want to know because I. Oh, well, I've been man. looking into Bluetooth controllers for my phone because I've been I've been wanting to play more uh, emulated games on my phone, like Dragon Ball Legacy or not Dragon Ball uh, Legacy of Goku. Oh, I want to be able to play that game, <laughs> um, but and I would only be able to play it on my phone because there's no way I, I'm not going to boot up my laptop to play Game Boy Advanced emulator. Speak for yourself. Yeah, I'll say why not. <laughs> Area of Sorrow is great. Anyway, Tactics Ogre, Tactics Ogre, Knights of Lotus. I did play Tactics Ogre. Uh, th- and Onimusha that, Tactics. We didn't talk about that in the review of the Fire Emblem game, but Tactics Ogre did the three-story system way better than Fire Emblem did, and they did it for 40 you bucks. like a current age Kanye West or something? <laughs> I'm going to let you finish, but <laughs> Tactics Ogre had the best <laughs> <three story. laughs> Yep. Um, I'm the Kanye West of video gaming. Oh, God. Oh, man. That's pretty bad right now. <laughs> but you're, you're very innovative. Yes. I like the way you sound, but just <laughs> don't ever talk. <laughs> anyway, um, what else we got? All right, next story, and this is our last. So if you have any big questions, throw them out there now. But the uh, the last story I have here is Microsoft HoloLens comes out this coming week. Isn't it Holo? HoloLens. Yeah. What, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Holo? Call it, I think you called it Holo last week or something like that. I'm like, that's Holo. I just, mm? Mm. We're, can, I, can we get to the root of that? Why do you keep calling it holo? I don't know. Like polo? Well, the English language is BS because it's hollow with two L's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, okay. then hologram yeah, it's is weird. one L. It's dumb. Okay, I'm sorry. For no, yeah. but Te- it is hollow. Technically, it is a, is a pronoun. So I'm kind of allowed to pronounce it however the hell I want. Pronounce? Okay, so what's going on? So we actually did a release video, video game release video that we do every week where we talk about all the things that are coming out this coming week. Yeah, Check so it out. If you like, want to get that, you should probably subscribe to the itch to network. To youtube.com slash the itch network. Yeah. But we're getting out topic. Anyway. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, it comes out this week. Anybody? W- I think we might have talked about it a little bit last week, but anybody want to wager a guess as to how much it costs? A million. No. Um, and and we're talking cost as right? far as yeah. three thousand yen. I would say <laughs> so, like four hundred drop <laughs> in fifty dollars. You're wrong. You're wrong. I know how much it is. I'm just it being cannot. Bad. It's three thousand yeah. dollars. 
No. <laughs> for the development. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know. It, so didn't. a $3,000 yeah. development kit. Yeah. And to put it I into perspective, <laughs> the development kit for uh, the Oculus, which was like newer <laughs> at the time, was not even nearly that much. It was, it was half that, I think. A little less than half of that. So which is nuts. The, the one caveat that I want to, the one thing I want to say in defense of the HoloLens is that there are no controllers or, or anything required other than the Kinect and your, and your headset. Your body is the actual controller. Mm-hmm. It is the closest to minority report that we can get. Yeah, I, I, I would say, you know, 3,000 seems like a lot, especially compared to other VRs. <laughs> But this is going for something entirely different than VR. Right. Yeah, like VR it's, is it's, it's is augmented glued, reality. Right, yeah, it's like glued. VR right now is like glued to your computer slash TV, yeah. and with a big <laughs> thing on your head. Granted, this has a big thing in your head too, but just like completely like that is the Hololens? your thing. Yeah, the Hololens. Hololens has like a big head thing that you have to put on. I didn't know they had that. Yeah, so it is VR then. It is. It's VR, but they've taken it a step further and removed the controller, and removed the stationary kind of thing. Like it is. Well, I'm still remembering from E3. That's what I'm saying. Is, so it's it, it's wireless, right? Yeah, wireless. Yeah. You literally like walk around the house, and walk around anywhere. But you still need an apparatus. Yeah, you still need. So, need so it's VR helmet. then. So but the, it, don't they have a way where you're? Um, isn't their big thing where it's not? Uh, it doesn't. If change. you're walking, you still can see the room around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's literally lenses. Like, so like it, your glasses per se. Yeah. But you know, but you, yeah, the world around you just becomes a computer. Right. So you're walking around. If you want, let's say we got the wall right there that none of the people that are watching can see. But if you, if oh, you wanted to, that's put, a great wall. If it's a blank wall, but you're like, I want to put a TV there. Why don't you, you just put a picture up? Put a TV there. <laughs> you just put a TV right there, and suddenly you do need a picture. <laughs> a TV. Or let's say, what do we got here? On the uh, the table right here. See, I see the table here. In VR, you can create. A big like in the demo of it, they have like a rocket ship. And you just put the rocket ship there, and then you can like edit it, play around. You can with pull it, it apart, like Legos, build it up and stuff. Can I just so build a it's so like Daft Punk makes it, make it, do it. <laughs> yeah, there so th- that's that's the the Punk. thing of uh, yeah. so that's the whole <laughs> thing of the Hololens because it it just allows you to use your hands as a controller, and it's wireless. So it, that's a really big part that none of the other competitors are doing. But there's this price point. That it's not consumer friendly. This is something you go to a, a, an arcade or event to use. Well, that's why it says development kit. I think if people get misconstrued and they're like, "I want the Hololens," it's like, "Oh, it's three thousand dollars." Well, you're an idiot because you didn't read. Yeah, you're probably going to get yeah. a bunch of garbled mess that you don't really understand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it it is the development kit, but even then, the other development kits that we saw were around a thousand bucks. This is triple that. Well, it's like mm-hmm. it goes back to what you said about like um like. Uh, hardware being sold, mm. people won't people won't buy hardware. Well, gaming hardware for over four hundred bucks, uh-huh. and in this case, being at three thousand, this is a developer's like thing. This is something that the developer of Undertale goes, "Hey, you know what? I want to do something with Undertale too, and put it in the Hololens. Yeah. I have the money to do it because I've already been successful." Or someone that's like, "All right, I saved off enough money because I want to be on the frontier of this." kind of technology it's not it's not to be taken lightly and it's supposed it's supposed to weed out people that just want to get it i think i'm okay with the price point um, for what it is yeah for what, for it, what is. it is yeah since it's not really a consumer friendly product but i'm yeah. actually disappointed uh in the hololens now because i thought it was augmented reality it's the closest we can get to augmented reality but when we're at e3 or when we were there um you were watching it through through the, their thing, the thing, yeah, ah, that sucks. Yeah, I was on the impression that that's that was clear as day what it was, and I was like, dude, augmented reality is way better than the VR. Nope, yeah. still VR. Yeah, it's still it's still technically VR. The only, again, the only thing is they removed the controller, and that's they removed the controller and made your body the controller. So they're implementing the connect aspect of Xbox, putting into it because they do have the best camera out there right now for uh, sensors, for consoles. Probably even PC as well, yeah. Because they use the Connect on PC. Um, now, as far as what VR system I'll, I will actually purchase, well, guess what? I did. I purchased the PlayStation VR. You did? I did. Yeah. It's got to wait till October. 
Um, oh. <laughs> but the reason that I jumped on that one, it was because of the price point. Because as a consumer, I can't justify spending more than what the VR costs. And I looking at like that. What was the other one? Oculus, Oculus Rift. Rift. Oh, that fuck. one was what six or eight hundred dollars. Six hundred. Six hundred dollars. And then on top of that, I also have to have a PC that then that then can handle it. Oh, we are cut out. Our audio is still good, but our camera's gone. Oh. I'll fix that. All right. But the uh, while I'm fixing that, uh, the PlayStation VR is a all-inclusive console system. You don't need anything in addition to what you purchase. Right. So that f- the $400 price point or $500 price point with the bundle with the PlayStation Move, the all the cables, the it headset, game, right? it ha- comes with the game and then also uh, the PlayStation camera. All that's bundled up for $500. The other systems you have to then like the Oculus Rift, you also then have to have a beast of a computer, which most gamers do already have. But I would I would say twenty percent of gamers have that. Yeah, not twenty percent of PC gamers have that because you were even saying you yeah. need to upgrade your I computer. Upgrade my computer. I don't. Are yeah, you, you still do. getting it? I don't need to. Uh, probably not. Mm. I do want to upgrade my computer, but I'm after doing all that, I might not be getting an Oculus Rift. Wait for a price drop, maybe. Yeah, because I mean, I'm just thinking about getting like completely building a new computer. Yeah. And that's going to put me at fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah. But it's gonna—I mean—it's gonna be top of line shit, but still, still cheaper than the Holland. <laughs> <laughs> and probably get more out. So of is it. that the thing that was beeping all yeah. this time? Then? Has it been beeping? Yeah, I've yeah, been just like. Beep. But I thought it was like play, she's like playing yeah. a game or something like right. that. So that's anyway, right looks like that's pretty much the end of the show. So do we want to do the discussion on here, or are we okay? All right, you guys are gonna have to wait for that one. <laughs> anyway, I'm JD. I'm Rose. I'm Spencer, Wait. and over there is. Hey, can I make a couple? Producer anna- Eric. Can, can we? Do, can I do a couple announcements? So, uh, er, uh, Rose wants to do some announcements. Okay. Uh, you know, streaming. You're getting uh, married. Well, we're gonna be streaming. Are we streaming that? Salt and Sanctuary. We're today. gonna be streaming Salt and Sanctuary a little later after t- the show. You can show. never say the name of this game. I you know. I, I keep saying Salt and Souls sultry. and Sanctuary. Uh, yes, yeah, Souls yeah. and Sultry. Yeah, I was like, what? So sexual. Um, every weekday, um, Monday through Thursday. Uh, 6 p.m. That I will is be every streaming. <laughs> you got every weekday, Monday through Thursday. I know, but I, I wanted to make. <laughs> not, come on. I got you. I got you. Um, okay. I will be streaming. Uh, hopefully with some of the itch itch members. Itch nights. Itch no, night. we're yeah. not itch nights. We're not the itch. We're the itch. Oh, the itch nights are the people out there. That's no, what I said. The- they're non-existent. They're in your head. In your head. <laughs> but. <laughs> Um, Monday through Thursday, 6 p.m., do you, streaming. Do you have a schedule on which games you're playing on what days? Not yet. It's mostly how I feel. And if there's a game to review, I will be playing it on the stream, so, if possible. So you're probably going to be playing Bloodborne? Uh, probably Bloodborne. Streaming. Okay, Bloodborne, Call of Duty Black Ops. It's mostly games I usually talk about. Um, I actually entered the Gungeon. It's coming up. This, coming up oh, I saw that. Yeah. And I'm def- Enter the, the Gungeon. gungeon. It's like it's not a dungeon gungeon. It's a gungeon. It's Literally. a shooter. I think it's, it's bullet shooting bullets. Yeah. And I will be I will definitely be playing that and streaming that. Sounds like shit. You're an idiot. <laughs> 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 well damn, that escalated. <laughs> um okay, so we have that. And then uh Spencer, are you playing slash streaming anything? I'll stream League of Legends, maybe, some days. Uh, okay. That's uh, quite possibly the best League of Legends player ever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's not true. Well, that's a lie. So anyway, <laughs> uh, I won't be streaming anything because my connection still always now and forever until I move sucks. So uh, I, Shut, uh, I know. I get to them. Are you streaming anything? Child of Light. Child of Light on Sunday. Sunday what time? Whenever I wake up and after the Easter Bunny. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Official. <laughs> and uh, I. <laughs> What, are there any games coming out that we're picking up? Oh. I'm, um, not, I'm not going to get the Zelda one. I just Quantum Break comes out. I'm picking up that. And then... Oh, uh, yeah. That comes out next Dragon week. Dragon Age... Or Dragon Age Dark Souls. Or the week after the, or something. That's the 5th. Oh, the 5th? Okay. Yeah. And then the 12th is Dark Souls, which I... It's going to be really rough on me. Why? Because I'm going to want to, like, stream the crap out of it. Um... But I, I, I like playing Souls games at my own pace. Right. And it might annoy some people. So I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. So, um, but yeah, just just uh, just sit tight for that. Uh, I don't think anything else comes out the end of eight. Uh, some, 
May is what's it called? Is uh, Uncharted. Yeah. And it's gonna be wild. Nothing else in April, I don't think. Right. So. Well, I know I know Banner Saga two comes out sometime in April. <laughs> sometime in April. Okay. I'll try to be but, ready for yeah, that. Yeah, we can always just when Yeah, that not, time not a lot comes. of huge games, so hopefully we'll get a chance to play some. Not of a lot of huge games. Dark yeah. Souls, bro. Well, it's one game. Quantum Break. Like, like it's not a like a lot of people are excited for that. It's not like where every week a game was coming out that we all had to jump on. Oh, right. oh yeah, Ratchet and so Clank. When's that drop? He's gonna beat that today. So there's gonna be a yeah. lot of little games come oh, out like, and but hopefully this gives us a chance to get that backlog going and maybe review some classics. Maybe. 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 Maybe I'll finally review Chrono Trigger for everyone. Hint. It's good. Well, you can't. It would be hilarious if he plays through it again and hates it. I played, yeah. it two ye- I played it like two years ago and absolutely loved it. It's a prog of his time. And it's just like, just, just look at Chuck. But no, that gets Oh, so Day of the out. Tentacle Monster. Uh, oh, it's just Anderson. I never actually played it. It's one of those like adventure style games where it's like uh, uh, King's Questy. Yeah, um, it's like it's supposed to be a really funny game. It's a it's a se- it's a sequel, either spiritual or literal. Don't quote me on that. Maybe he knows more. But to uh, Maniac what? Mansion, I think it is. is it mm. Manic Mansion or Maniac? I think it's Maniac. Who cares? Uh, who, who cares? No, bruh. Justin. Bruh. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Bruh. Who bruh. fucking cares? Bruh. <laughs> bruh. Uh, bruh. Bro. I'm about to take out both your mics. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, anyway. um, it's not that the game sucks or whatever. Just uh, <laughs> it's not. It's definitely not my style of game. Hmm. What I'll probably end up doing is getting back on Witcher uh, if I have some downtime. That's a good one. But May's gonna be rough. After May, ooh, after May, there's only two things that are happening, folks. Streaming Street Fighter, streaming some of the other games, but mainly streaming Street Fighter and Dark Souls Three. Well, I'll, I'll probably have beaten. Like you still play Bloodborne, so I assume you'll still play Dark Souls 3. Well, Bloodborne has what I like to call style. It's got <laughs> staying power. I look like a beast in that game. I feel like a beast in that game. And the deal, the, the characters in the world is just, it's freaking... That's interesting you say that, because I, I was, I was going to one and done it, because the, it's not like you really change up how you play the game. Per se, well, but, well we, little buddy, yeah, <laughs> little no, I mean, yeah. Is, who's oh, the last boss you killed? Uh, Where are you at? Let's see. I some old man is trying to tell me to go in the water. I just you're about to fight Rom, the vacuous spider. Oh, cool. Hey, and, you can beat that because Justin probably never did. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I, 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 right. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Wake up to reality. <laughs> um, Snap back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would recommend you get the DLC. Meatloaf. Have you been to Kanehurst? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Where's, Where's Kanehurst? How's it look? It's very different. It's just like this old, like, watery area? No, it's a castle. Oh, never mind. So you got to go to Kanehurst. Um, you still have to go through. Uh, you're, you're pretty much at, like, the halfway point. Of oh, the game. okay. So you still got a lot of stuff to do. But you still have Nightmare Frontier and all that stuff. But get the DLC and tell me there's not style. Or no, you're not no, no, no. Switching I never say it was style. Or you're I'm not s- switching up the way you play. Okay. Wait, get the DLC. But, I mean, I have to get the DLC. And what, let's, what? Say, let's say I got day one, though. And, and I'm just playing it just the way I play it. Well, here's the thing. I played it, I played it using uh, one of my weapons. I used the Threaded Cane and I used the Scythe. All right. And that's more this mid-range. Scythe? Might have to keep playing, bro. Okay, cool. But um, uh, my friend uh, Troy, because we ran it together, he used Ludwig's and he used the, the saw cleaver. So he had a pretty standard experience. By the time the DLC rolled out, there's like eight different new weapons that and, are all creative. And by, what I mean by like different styles is that it, I'm either going to be dodging or I'm going to shoot them and counter them. You know what I mean? But Dark Souls Three is like I can have a spear and shield. I can have yeah. Just what a do you dagger. think that's based off of though? What do you mean? That's based off of Bloodborne. Like Dark sp- Souls Two and One. Dark Souls. You just said Three. Oh no, no, I'm saying Dark Souls just in general. Okay, Dark Souls One you know and I mean? Two focus on block attack. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're a counteract. But but in you Bloodborne, just, but, you have to be preemptive. But the thing is, I sometimes like oh, blocking doesn't work. You're just gonna shred through my shield and do damage no matter what. So it now relies on me dodging. So then now I'm dodging instead of just blocking. That's 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a like, comment below, and subscribe to our channel. We do new reviews and podcasts every week. And you can get in on the action on twitch.tv slash this is the it every Saturday at 11 a.m. Arizona Standard. Take a look at our gear on Spreadshirt.com and scratch that fashion itch. Download our app on the store. If you have any questions, email us at the show at the itch network.com. And don't forget, we do fuck. <laughs>